Gun Talk is brought to you by Springfield Armory, Sig Sauer, Black Hills Ammo, You can't talk modern sporting rifles without talking about three gun competition. Champion shooter Jim Clark gave us an introduction. Jim Clark, you've been shooting three gun about as long as it's been three gun, I, guess, I would guess. And the AR platform is like integral. It's a real big part of it. You build these rifles. What do you have to do to a, an AR to make it a three gun? Well, of course, first you have to decide what category you're going to shoot in. Open, limited, tactical. Iron sight. Because there are limitations on the equipment. Sure, that, that uh, designates how you configure your gun with bipods or iron sights or scopes or okay. whatever. How do you have this one set up? This one has a floated uh, carbon fiber forearm to keep the weight down, a Harris bipod. Limited optic, you shoot it on one power. Some of the limited stuff, you can use the variable power. It just depends on what uh, right. organization you're shooting at the time. Okay. You know, an aftermarket barrel, an aftermarket trigger. It's about a half minute on demand gun. Is it really? So, you shoot half, you half say, inch groups at 100 yards? Exactly. And you say, well, is this a combat gun? You bet. Yeah. Is this an accurate gun? I would Absolutely. Not, I would not be afraid to hunt with this gun at all. Okay. So three gun competition. We've got a little stage set up here. The idea is you're moving, you're shooting, and it kind of simulates uh, what SWAT, military, that type of uh, exactly. endeavor. Exactly. What, I, what I've got set up here is just uh, I've got a simulated rooftop. Mm -hmm. And what I'll do is take headshots on those targets. I, obviously, the one in the middle, the white. As a, uh, that's a hostage target. So you don't shoot that so one. Got to make sure we shoot around him. So okay. to stay away, we'll shoot headshots across there. Then I'll move to the to the little stair steps and shoot uh, another uh, array of headshots there. And three gun competition is about the most popular thing that people do with ARs these days. It's uh, very popular, and, <laughs> and of course the ARs are dominating. Well, I'll tell you what, you run this thing and show me how it looks. All right. Okay. Get ready. Load. Ready. Stand by, fire! Cease fire, unload, show clear. Clear. Man, that is something, that's a, uh, that's quite the little stage here. Is this the kind of thing you're usually going to run into at one of these matches? Well, you never know. Every, everyone's going to be different. Uh, we have a simulated rooftop and you know, just a simulated wall that we right. can use for anything. Now, you, you train. I know you do some stuff with the local police departments and sheriff departments. Is this the kind of thing they would normally do also? This is what I show them, yes. You teach this kind yeah. of stuff? Where that where normal police work is done uh, like on a post course, right. I would rather them be doing this type of training. It's more realistic. Yeah, exactly. It's more realistic. Besides that, it's an awful lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Thanks a bunch, Jim. Thank you. To get the most out of your MSR, use a variety of ammo. Don't just go to the range and shoot 55 grain full metal jacket all the time. Now, if you're shooting a 223, you got a lot of options here. You got 40 grain bullets. Why would you use that? If you're shooting varmint, you want a bullet that expands real quickly, doesn't maybe exit, or doesn't ricochet, 40 grain is a great way to go. Let's go to the heavier side. Here we've got a 64 grain bonded solid base bullet. This is a defensive ammo from Nosler. And over here, we've got a 77 grain competition load. These are longer bullets made for competition, made for long range shooting. I mean, people are shooting these at 600 yards, no problem whatsoever. When you move to the 308, you've got the standard 150 grain bullet. A lot of people have that. And now we go to match bullets. 168 grain boat tail hollow point long range for 308. When you move into the hunting realm, which gets my attention, you've got E-tip bullets. These are lead-free bullets. In some places, you can't use bullets with lead in them. And we also have the AccuBomb bullet, one of the great hunting bullets of all time. Now, Black Hills has some great bullets. If you want to shoot long range, 168 grade Hornady AMAX and the Barnes TSX, a great bullet, super. If you're hunting deer, antelope, elk, moose, most of these 308 loads will work for you. There is one strange little one, not on the market anymore. It's called the Accelerator. Remington actually made this, oh, a couple of decades ago. It's a 22 caliber bullet in a 308 with a Sabo load. Not terribly accurate, but kind of fast and a little bit quirky. At least it's something to talk about. The main thing is 
match the ammo to the use to get the most out of your MSR. When we return, an affordable rifle with great tactical features. A little bit different look at a modern sporting rifle.